What's up guys? Welcome to Kid Toy TV channel. Today we're going to uh, go more detail on this uh, RC excavator hydraulic. We want to see what inside of this excavator and how the hydraulic working. For whoever new to my channel, hit the subscribe button to follow more videos. For this excavator, you can use any type of battery. For now, I use this one because it's small. It can fit right in, but you can get the smaller battery, a little bit bigger MAH, like that one. See that one? That one really big. But this big size, so I don't want this. I want some smaller like that. All right, let's turn it on. For this, you have to always turn the radio transmitter on first before you turn the RC on. See? Okay, you guys wanna see what in this? Look at that. This is how it looks inside. You guys see that? Okay, so this is the valve. This is a three-way valve that's controlled the cylinder. And this is the motor pump. This is the tank. The tank is actually attached with the motor pump. It's already set up that uh, two-in-one. So it's in there. So when the motor pump running, is when it's running, the pump pumping the oil go into a uh, valve. So this, it, this servo, when this servo move, it's release the, the oil for the motor to pump into a cylinder to make the arm move. This valve is the pump can go in and out to the tank. And this is a 10 channel receiver. See that? 10 channel receiver. You can add mark at two more channels right right here. And over here, I'm using ESC28. Only using ESC28 guys. If you if you try bigger than 28, the gear is not gonna move back and forth it will it will just move one way i don't know how and why all right it's symbol so every channel that need one esc see that so this is for the gear track motor so two two gear tracks two esc right here this is for the tracks for this for this gear for this motor so two of this is this. So that's two channel. And then one more ESC right here for one more channel. This is a rotation motor. So that's one more channel. That will be three. So three ESC right now. And this big one, this big ESC right here is for the motor pump. So one, two, three, four, four ESC. For the servo of the valve, you don't need any, to add any more ESC because it just come with it. Just come with how it is and it works how it is. Very, very simple. And for the light, so just kind of need one more ESC for the light. But if you can buy like some kind of light that come with ESC, you don't need to add any more ESC into it. All right. I think that's all the ESC we have in here. One, two, three, four, five. So you need five ESC. Oh, look at the valve. This valve is very, very small. That 
there's a lot of them out there that that the valve is very big but for this one it's very small oh actually why is it here up here let me reconnect that for this type of body that um very small space very limited space so try to keep things organized and and then you know work with them always run the line that carefully keep thing organizing it's always work good the more you organize the last work you have to do okay sooner or later you run into like some kind of replacing ESC because the ESC is very easy to uh, burned out so just organizing thing and then ESC later on anything went down you can just pop up ESC and replace the ESC it's really really simple I'll talk about ESC let me bring out one ESC you can take a look see for this ESC is 20A that come with this switch right there but sometimes sometimes when the switch went off it's still working for this one and this go to the receiver and this is just a switch that can this more important this one have to be on this one have to be on but for this switch in the back here is like unnecessary and you see if you see the wire that right in the two middle one this one is go to the channel okay go to servo this one go to servo and this one go to power this one go to power okay so just remember if you ever can try to connect it make it easier i actually burned out one of this before okay i connect it into a wrong wire okay they don't come with instruction this one do not come with instruction all right see how it is it's just fit perfectly for this one it's <laughs> this one can last you like at least like 45 minutes to an hour but it's too big so i just ordered the small battery size but it's come with 4000 mah okay that's gonna run you for a long time okay one more thing this one is making a little bit noise out because it's come with the plastic in here sooner or later if i take the plastic out and modify it to um for the oil tank and the mo and the motor move up a little bit it fit perfectly in there the motor will run really nice and smooth you don't hear much sound cranky and all that squeezing going on hitting thing but right now just keep it the way it is and it's work really good that's all it's matter all right guys that's pretty much for today and um thank you so much for watching the video